Radio.com. To uh, launch this brand in Canada, uh, it's something that I'm just very passionate about. Uh, 18 months ago, when we saw noticed that Porsche Design uh, has yet to make an introduction in Canada, um, it just didn't feel right. Uh, something that uh, the Canadian market, it's uh, it's there. The products are unbelievable. Uh, the vision, and the direction that they're going in, uh, it's just something that. When you look at the, uh, the function of everything and how it integrates in your day-to-day -day life, how it makes you feel to, to wear it, to make it a part of who you are, and the statement that it makes, um, it's just, it's empowering. Um, it's been uh, an interesting, say, 12 months in getting the store open. Uh, we are uh, delighted that uh, we've managed to, to, to introduce this brand on Bloor Street. Uh, here in Toronto. It's something that um, really makes uh, a statement and, and represents who Porsche Design is. And um, I think that uh, as when we look at um, the, the, the brands that uh, are represented here, um, this is just a, a, a whole new twist to, to the game. Um, it, it brings uh, some uh, a company that uh, doesn't look at uh, anything in the same uh, eye as, as your, your, you know, your usual you know, watch or, or sunglasses. Uh, we look at it from a whole new perspective and, and it brings a unique uh, uh, functionality. It brings uh, a, a very, uh, how to explain it, but um, excitement to your, your day to day items. So, um, Thanks. Without really further ado, I want to introduce uh, Dr. Gessler, uh, who's the uh, president and CEO of Porsche Design. Um, I know that, that he's definitely got a few words here that uh, really brings uh, a lot to the brand. Okay. Yeah, good morning, everybody. First of all, Khalid, and uh, thank you for this tremendous effort, and uh, thank you also to your family, to your father and your brother. Huh? You. Uh, that you be a partner and that you help to build us the business here in Canada and we are very happy to open the first store here in Toronto. I was asked this morning already a few times why why now in Toronto I said yeah we should be there of course since a few years but therefore you need the, as a brand the right partner you need the right spot and we believe that we have here the right spot in Toronto and we are happy uh, uh, to see the reaction of the customer. What Porsche Design is offering, yeah. And to know about Porsche Design, the best uh, uh, start I would uh, recommend is that I tell you the story about Porsche Design and to tell a story about the brand. It's always to to look on uh, a few products which uh, explain very much what Porsche Design is. First of all, 1972, the founder Ferdinand Alexander Porsche was at this time the head of the design. Uh, department of the car company. He already did his masterpiece in 1963 by creating the 911. He left the car company and built up his own brand. And uh, he had not the idea to connect it with the car, but he, his name was Porsche, and so he named it Porsche Design. And uh, but he take the same philosophy which we put in the 911. Also, what he started with the watches with the sunglasses. First product ever for Porsche design was the black chronograph. Today it's not a big revolution, it's just a black watch, but at this time it was the first black watch because watches were per definition jewelries and jewelries are per definition gold and silver. And he said, what is the real function of a watch? The real function of a watch is just to show the time. And if you are a designer and if you are a Bauhaus student you, and you think about form follows function, and, and, and developed the form follows function approach a little bit further like he did. He, it's very easy for a designer that you should use white indicators on a black dashboard. And what you can see, and this was in the 70s, a big hype with the first black watch, all the Formula One drivers, the pilot bought this watch. But his idea was not just to, uh, let's do a cool watch, yeah? let's try a different color. It was always a functionality behind what he is doing. And this was a masterpiece in the 
in, in the watch industry. Another masterpiece was, was in 1980 the first titanium watch. Now today many of the Porsche design watches are made of titanium. Why titanium? Yeah, Because he said why the watches are always so heavy. So heavy because they are made of stainless steel. Stainless steel is very heavy. Titanium is more stiff, is more light, and it's the only metal which is not interacting with the human skin. So for him, very natural to use titanium. And he was at this time inspired because Porsche Sein also designed for the aerospace industries some interior. Yeah? And so they're using the, the aerospace industry, they're using titanium in the, in the end of the 70s. And so he started using titanium for the, um, for the watches. One other masterpiece, and uh, everybody of you should know or know this, is the Porsche Design uh, Interchangeable Lens, 1978. And I can tell you a story which I believe you don't know. This form was not done by Porsche Design. Yes, it was done by US Air Force, 1956, for the pilots, yeah? produced by Ray-Ban. But until 1978, this pilot form was only used by the pilots, aviator, and this was a working tool in the cockpit. And you can never see this lovely lady in 1978 who are wearing to a nice outfit this nice aviator because the aviator was a working tool like the helmet for the pilots. But he developed the, the form and the, the, the sunglass in a, in a way that he said, the form is perfect because of protecting the eyes. But the ladies, they like different kind of colors. Yeah? And that they not want to, uh, the 70s, you know, the, the colorful 70s. Yeah, everybody used colors. Yeah? And, and, and uh, uh, the, the bright yellows, the bright, bright red. And so he started by uh, offering the sunglass with interchangeable lenses. In different. So if you have a raspberry dress, you can have, see as our young lady here has a raspberry colored sunglass. This is number one. First of all for the ladies, this was dedicated for the ladies. Second of all, uh, you can have different kind of glasses in terms of it's winter time or summer time. Then you have the possibilities to have darker glasses, lighter glasses. And with the, this idea, yeah, together with the Yoko Ono glass, which he was launched in 1979, which is a huge breakthrough, the Porsche design sunglasses eyewear success started in the 80s and he created the, uh, let's say he brought the aviator uh, to the fashion lifestyle industry. So whatever Ferdinand Alexander Porsche uh, did, he was always inspired by his philosophy. If you think about the function of a product long enough, this form sometimes becomes obvious. And this was the idea until now, and I want to show you a, a product which is uh, from the uh, from the actual range. This is our Bounce S. The idea of this Bounce S was to have to to do a, a, a shoe for the business traveler, which he can have a run in the morning and wear in the bar in the evening to have a beer. And if you, if you have a sneaker which you want also to use for running and you use a, a regular cushion made of plastic, after one year the running shoe is too hard, you should not use it anymore. And to, to get along this challenge, yeah, we started to using a mechanical suspension. Yeah, because with mechanical suspension it's lasting forever. And so you have a running shoe as a sneaker which you can use and this was the idea behind now it's getting a, a big hype. We have to produce it in different colors, different mesh materials. It's the hottest cake always sold out when we can come with the new collection. And now we come back to the Porsche design philosophy. This, let's say, outstanding iconic suspension was not just to make, oh, let's do a cool sneaker yeah, which looks different from the others. No, there is a clear functionality behind. And his philosophy was always to show the function. This is the, the approach for a, a Bauhaus designer. And, and so uh, whatever Porsche design is doing, he's, they always thinking about what, rethinking the value of a, of a product. And some 
another, just another two or products, uh, fastest pen in the world, which uh, a very simple product. Uh, normally, if you start writing, you have to take a pen in your hand, and then the problem starts. Yeah, you start with finger exercise, sizing. You have to push a button. You have to screw something. You need your second hand. Very complicated. Yeah, the pens. And if you just want to write, and this pen you take, you shake, and you can write. Yeah, the mind comes out, and if you shake it back, the, it's going in. And this is a shake pen, yeah, very fast, very useful. This is a uh, Porsche design. And um, yeah, and now we are happy uh, that we have um, launching today the newest product. I think it is the, the best what coming out if a German and a Canadian company companies sit together and think about a new product. Porsche Design started with the mobile phone already in 2007 when we, lo when we launched our first aluminum mobile phone. Unfortunately, we had not the right partner in terms of the technologies inside, in terms of the software and the smartphone market, as you know, is developed pretty fast and we had a real problem. Yeah, we had an idea, we thought that the customer wants a phone but we had not the right partner and therefore, I want to thank you. Uh, Todd Wood, he is the head of design, the chief design officer of RIM. And we meet, I think, uh, two years ago. We fly over to Waterloo. Todd knows, for God's sake, Porsche design. Yeah, <laughs> He didn't thought that, that somebody from a car industry wants to make a phone. He, he knows the philosophy of Ferdinand Alexander Porsche. We sit together and uh, we develop together this product, which will launched today, uh, Porsche Design Smartphone P9981 by BlackBerry, all it's built on the, um, 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 on the technology of the Bolt 9900, it's the launch made of stainless steel, yeah, with a touch uh, green and uh, famous, and I don't have to tell you here in Canada, the monumentum of, of rim of BlackBerry. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a BlackBerry user, I think, since more than 10 years. And so for me, very obvious uh, to touch in, in, in the first time the, the colleagues from RIM. So this is, uh, uh, and what you can see here, all about uh, Porsche design. And of course, we uh, started with the female products already, I think, in the, in the 80s. Yeah? Then it stopped for... I don't know what reasons, and when I come to uh, Porsche Design in 2007, and I spend the most of the time at the retail with the customers, a lot of ladies uh, asking me, hey, come on, what's, what's in for us? Yeah, and we said, oh, we have some unisex sunglasses, we have some unisex brief bags, why do you not really do a real lady collection? And then we started with a very small collection with a, with a product which we are very proud of.